Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, May 1st, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, look at this grid. It looks like we've kind of got sections that are almost completely cut off, sort of like we had yesterday. These northeast and southwest corners are almost totally cut off from the rest of the grid, just these two little bits that connect it to the rest of the puzzle. Interesting. That might make it a little difficult to build into those, possibly. Like faces around a campfire at night. Hmm. I would want that to be like fire lit. Uh, maybe it's uplit. Yeah, because the fire's below you. In-depth subject for a war historian. In-depth. Okay, so this is wordplay. So it's something that's actually going deep somewhere. Maybe it's a U-boat. They would be deep underwater, right? Nice, that's a good pun there. Tip with ink. Um, maybe a pen nib? Yeah, because the nib is at the tip of the pen. Milk producing? Uh, well, it starts with an L. Is it going to be like lactating or something? That's too long. Is it going to be like lactant or something? I've never heard of that before. It might be, though. Frequent setting on Chicago Med. Hmm, maybe it's the ICU, intensive care unit. Historic London venue. Um, is it going to be... A theater like the Rose? That was the Shakespeare Theater, right? The Rose? Wasn't there another one though? I think there was. Yeah, I'm gonna put in the. It's gotta be the something. Spot for an umbrella is beach, yeah. Perfectly timed is on cue. Okay, we've got our lack. That's good. Fire blank. Looks like it's gonna be fire ant. Is it really gonna be lactant? This would be BN though. That can't be right. Aid in preventing a soup stain, maybe. Hmm. Tied something? Hmm. Then this would be a TD. I don't really like that. They're worn on the road. I think this is going to be a pun, even though it's not indicated. Something that's worn down on the road, maybe? What's something that gets a lot of wear and tear on it? Like potholes or maybe car tires? Bus tires? Yeah, I don't know. Cozy chairs for pairs. Could that be love seats? I like that, yeah. Uh, milk producing. I-A-L? Then this would be two eyes. Hunk. Hmm, maybe not a like a dreamy guy. Maybe it's just like a hunk of dirt. That could be like a clod. I really wish I could remember this theater. Side dish in Cajun cuisine. Hmm. So this is not tied, it doesn't look like. Preventing a soup stain. It almost looks like tie. Like your tie is supposed to prevent a soup stain somehow? I don't know about that. Where many a drive ends, unfortunately. Hmm, I have a feeling this is going to be golf. Sand trap. In the rough would be good. Hmm, I'd love to confirm love seats if we can. Pursues for food, say. Praise on, maybe? Like a hunter would? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Old-timey hearing aid? Is this like a, um... One of those, like, horns you'd see people hold up to their ear in, like, old cartoons? What are those called? Ear... I think they were called ear trumpets, weren't they? Yeah, ear trumpet. Wow, what a great piece of fill. That is so great. I just love that. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen that on a puzzle before. That's really cool. 
It's just okay. Yeah, that should be meh. Screwballs. Uh, nutcases, maybe? Boy, getting that long ear trumpet next to praise on really helped a lot. Motif in much Christian art. A motif. Uh, I don't know. They have halos around people a lot in Christian art. Hmm. Acute bronchitis familiarly. I think you could call that a chest cold, right? Yeah, okay. All right, maybe if we get lucky, we can build up on this one. Break. Oh, that's so vague. Um... Hmm. There's so many meanings for break. Deep fried British treat wrapped with sausage and breadcrumbs. Well, it looks like it's going to start with scotch, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so maybe this is dirty rice. Yeah, that would make sense. I have had dirty rice before. Um. Still not sure about that one. Hmm. Break. I wonder if this is going to be a verb. Essayist who wrote, Newspapers always excite curiosity. No one ever lays one down without a feeling of disappointment. Hmm. E-L blank A. This is probably a last name, too. I don't, I've never seen that quote before. Throw back some Jack Say. Uh, Jack is whiskey. Jack Daniels. So maybe that could be do shots. Yeah. Okay. With 60 across, East Asian cuisine style. I have a feeling that's a hot pot just based on the letters that we have in here. Okay. Go off with a hitch. And this is wordplay. I have a feeling hitch is our word here. That's another word for getting married, right? So maybe this is elope. You'd be going off. You'd be running away to get married. Um, Scotchers? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Blank Hoover, first lady before Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't even know if I ever knew her name. Just three letters, though. Online companion animal. Is that a Neopet? I feel like our age group is getting pandered to here, us millennials. We had Pikachu yesterday and Neopet today. Okay, inhibits. Um, maybe stems. You could stem the bleeding, maybe. Ha, fell right into my trap. An equivalent phrase could be got him, maybe. I guess this is Scotch Egg. I think maybe I've heard of that. I definitely haven't had one. Sudden blasts could be gusts. So this is a Lou Hoover? Maybe short for like Louise or something? This doesn't give any indication of an abbreviation though. Hmm. I guess her name could have just been Lou. Um. Hmm. I really want, this looks like it has to be an I. Elia? That really didn't give us too much help filling in this corner, did it? Hmm. V-I-C. Maybe it's not the Shakespeare Theater. Maybe it's another venue in London. I I'm probably just not thinking in the right area here. Hmm. I haven't been to London, so my London... Sightseeing knowledge is kind of spotty. Where many a drive ends, unfortunately, right? Uh, over par? I really want that to be a golf clue. Blank triple play, baseball feet rarer than a perfect game. I think I know what this is. This is a unassisted triple play. I wouldn't even be able to describe how you'd be able to do that. I think you'd have to like catch a line drive, tag someone out, and then run to a base and get a force out somehow. 
I don't know, it's gonna be something like that. Yeah, that's why it's super rare. That's very unlikely. Okay, one whose business is home-based. <laughs> Another baseball clue, nice, I love it. Okay, that would be an ump, right? He's behind home plate. Pickup line, another wordplay. Hmm. Pickup line? I would want this to maybe be, instead of like trying to chat someone up at a bar, it could be like something you'd say when you picked up the phone line, maybe? Hmm. Fluffy four footed friend. Maybe animal something? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. What's this down here? Chaps. Could it just be men? A chap is a word for a man, right? This men isn't slang though. I don't know. Cello quartet. Hmm. Is this going to be something that there's actually four of on a cello? I have a feeling this is going to be something tricky here. It does look like it might be animal something. Yeah, like I was worried about, this is, it's, we're not getting much crossing helps here, so we might have to kind of start anew. Part of a diplomatic address, maybe. Dot gov. I want this to be about an email address. Hmm. Maybe it could be like dot US or maybe dot UK came across. Hmm. Like you actually crossed a river or something. 2019 sci-fi film starring Brad Pitt. I think that was Ad Astra, right? Okay, yeah, I never saw that one, but I heard it was pretty good. Okay. All right, so my first instinct was wrong. Dot, uh, I have no idea. It could be a lot of things if that's even what it is. <laughs> is it an animal pal? I don't know, that seems a little weird. Popular camp assemblies. Hmm, not tense. Passes. I mean, passes could be dying. Could be passing on the highway. Another, like, very vague clue here. Seljuk Empire citizen. Hmm. I've never heard of the Seljuk Empire before. Word with base or combat. Hmm. Shoot. This is a tough corner here. Hit high in the air. Lob? Hmm, I don't like TL though. Arc, maybe? Two R's. Shoot, oh man, this is bad. <laughs> like I, yeah, like I was worried about. We're having a little bit of trouble breaking into these sections. I wonder if I'd have any better luck here. Maybe if I can get this, and then these crossing, I can get this, and that'll help us a little bit. Oh boy, we better cross our fingers here. Online qualifier, that could be in my opinion. Classic moonroof alternative could be a T-top. Okay, well, we're getting the ends of things. That's not quite as useful usually, but. 44 downs once, Neopets once. I guess they were a fad maybe. Neuter? Um. Hmm. Could it be dis something? Former home of the San Antonio Spurs. Well, it's looking like it's going to be Astrodome, maybe. Yeah, let's put that in and see if that works. Print source. A tip? Maybe this is a source that a reporter would have. I don't know. Hmm. World War One headgear. It's not just a helmet. Uh, that's got, that can't be right. That's too easy. Is it like the spiked helmets that the Germans wore? Did they have a special name? Vaccine target. Could it just be your arm, maybe? 
We're all getting vaccines in our arms these days, right? Focus of middle management. Where's the pun here? Is it middle? Is it like the middle of management? That'd be GE, I guess. Ooh, I don't know about that. Bill. Um. Hmm. Again, this is very vague. Squirt, 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 squirt. Hmm. I have no idea what this is talking about. Is it a squirt gun or something? Skink or gecko? Oh man. I think we learned what a skink was a few weeks ago and I'm not remembering what it is. It is an animal of some kind. That'd be very helpful if I could remember what it was. Hmm. Places where things are all tied up. And this isn't going to be about things being taken care of. I think it's going to be literally tied up. Hmm. Checkers cry. Shouldn't that be king me? Maybe we're having trouble because it's not Astrodome. That should definitely be king me. Okay. Uh, is it Alamo Dome? I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Sounds plausible though. Twenty twenty one Chinese zodiac sign. Uh, isn't it the ox? Okay, maybe this is a D sex. If you're neutering something, you're uh, making it sterile, right? So. It's maybe some kind of special ox, like a specific ox. Hmm. It's not helmet. Bill. Oh, I should know this. It's a beak, like on a waterfowl. Hmm, that should have come to me a little easier. Okay, so can we get this now? Focus of middle management. Oh, maybe it's like the middle on a person, like your abs. Like if you're trying to manage your middle, you'd be worried about your abs. Yeah. Wow, that's a very tricky clue there. Maybe it is arm after all. And then... Oh, man. Things get all tied up. Maybe it's like tied up like a sports score. I don't know how likely that is. Is this a spritz? Hmm. Yeah, because this could be reptile, right? All right, let's put in spritz. And then, oh, marina is like you're tying up boats, right? Okay. Uh, is this a tin hat? Oh my god, is this the ox? Oh boy, that's not great. Okay, the ox. I mean, I love the ox, but it should only be ox or maybe oxen. Since you can't have a two letter word, I guess it would have to be oxen. But yeah, this uh, article is never, never a great thing to see. Okay, print source could be a fingertip. Yeah, okay, like a fingerprint. Okay, so something hazard? That is still making me think of golf. Um, water hazard. There we go. Yeah, that is golf after all. I'm glad we were on the right track. It just took us a while to get there. Smart remarks could be owls, like something hurts if it smarts. You would say ow. All right. Um, this though, doesn't bother me as much because it's kind of like part of the name of something. But yeah, this one. Ugh. Um, I still don't know what this is. The Old Vic, maybe? For Old Victorian? I haven't heard of that, but that seems like what it wants to be. Uh, and then tie clasp. Oh, preventing a soup stain on your tie, I guess, a tie clasp would maybe help with. Okay. Um, what is the Lacteal? <laughs> Um, bald tires. Yes, they are worn. Bald means the tread is all worn down, right? 
and tires are used on the road. Okay, so it's lacteal. Right, okay, well, just couldn't come up with how it was gonna end, but we got there eventually. Okay. Um, is this adoration? Yeah, I guess people are looking at Jesus pretty adoringly in a lot of Christian art, so I guess that makes a good amount of sense. So what is this? Sticate. Break. Hmm. Sticate. Interesting. What a weird ending. It almost looks like gesticulate, but that's not even close to what it is. Hmm. Masticate is the only word I can think that ends in sticate. Hmm. Rusticate? Oh man, that did, that, my plan kind of failed, didn't it? We're not able to work up from this even though we got the whole end here. Break. I wonder if it's just like a rest period. Hmm. Is there anything else we can build off that we haven't looked at yet? Oh, wait a minute. I think I just had a brainwave for this one. Pick up line. Like if you're picking someone up in a car, you could say, need a ride. Nice, okay. Whew. All right, maybe that'll help. Domesticate? Oh man, yeah, that's really hard. If you break an animal, you domesticate them. I, I think that's maybe not quite right. I think, I don't know. As far as I'm aware, domesticated means like they're bred to live with people. But when you like break an animal, you're kind of taming them. Whereas they, they really should be like a wild animal. So you'd say you'd like break a horse or a, a bear or something. So you could have them perform in the circus, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Domesticate. I might be wrong about that, but that that's my instinct. It's, it's a, it seems a little bit weird to my ears. I do, this is a great piece of fill though. Domesticate is is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice long word there. Okay, popular camp assemblies. Hmm. Passes. It's not elapses, no. Okay, so this is not animal. Angola cat. Oh man, that's hard. Okay, because Angola cats are very fluffy. Oh boy, is that a hard one. It's crossing domesticate though. That's kind of nice. It's a domesticated animal. Okay. I guess this is maybe pegs. I'm not sure what on a cello is a peg. I'm a little ignorant about how cellos exactly work. So what is, if this starts with an S? Hmm. Oh, did I put, I put Angola again. It's Angora. Okay, yeah, I always get that confused with the country. Okay, because comedian Mark, I think is Mark Marin. Okay, and then peak overlooking Armenia's capital. Oh my God, is it Ararat? That's the mountain in the Bible, so. Uh, Armenia, I'm gonna guess maybe that's right. Part of a diplomatic address, maybe. So my first instinct about it being a email address is definitely not right. Hmm. Oh, this is s'mores. Oh, you assemble a s'more. Oh my God. Okay, so this is pegs after all. All right. And then enacts. Yeah, like a legislative body would pass something. Okay. Backgammon accessory. Boy, we didn't look at a bunch of these downs. So we should have done that. Uh, this should be a dice cup. Yeah, I think I might have been able to come up with that one. Okay. Madam? Like Madam Secretary or something? Came across as met. You would meet a person if you come across them. Yeah, okay. Then I guess this is a Turk, maybe. Head high in the air could be sky, I guess. Like if you sky a fly ball or something. And then pay, base pay, combat pay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see if that does it for us. 
Nice. Okay. 2618. Not a not a terrible time for a Saturday for us. I think that's respectable. It's probably about average for us. Yeah, like I was worried about um, at the beginning, we had a little bit of trouble building into this area specifically. This one wasn't as bad, I don't think. But I think maybe if I had, I, I would have known Marin, so that probably would have helped a lot. Um, I think I probably could have gotten Dice Cup without too much crossing also. So I think I just made it a little bit unnecessarily hard on us um, by doing a uh, not great job at looking at all the possible clues. Um, but yeah, I think otherwise, um, I think with that um, self-imposed difficulty, uh, it was really nice. I mean, there's a lot of really great long answers in here. Ear Trumpet is just, oh man, what a piece of fill. That is just so lovely. And then it's, uh, let's see, it's pair is unassisted. I think Water Hazard is another really nice one. Um, Domesticate is nice. Scotch Egg, uh, probably not something I'd be interested in, but it's a nice piece of fill. The Old Vic is also something that was new to me, and that's another nice piece of fill. Actually, almost every answer in this grid is a great piece of fill. Look at that. Fingertip. Al Alamo Dome. Love seeds. Look, everything in here. Balt tires. Love seeds. Dirty rice. Chest cold. Adoration. Nutcase. Look at the tie, tie clasp. It's just this giant stack that's just amazing. Really great. And, and these corners are good, too. Angora Cat. Need a ride is really nice. Wow. Even the shorter stuff isn't too bad. D sex, spritz. Not a lot of short stuff. Boy, this is just full of great entries. This is a really, really nicely constructed puzzle now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Wow. Very impressive. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that really deftly constructed Saturday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with the nice big lazy sunday puzzle which will hopefully have a real fun theme for us all right and i think that's going to do it for now i'll see you next time